today we'll be setting up the column chromatography. Here you have silica gel, sand with a spatula, glass pipette, plastic tubing, a small piece of cotton, and Kim White. Now, first of all, you want to plug this piece of cotton inside your glass pipette, like this. And you might want to take your plastic tubing and just push it down all the way. Then you take it to the silica jar and start loading silica up. Now, it is important that you do this inside a jar so that silica won't spill out because silica is toxic and it can stay in your lung for 20 or 30 years. So by doing it like this, it won't fall out and then it won't harm you. So you should try to stick it in and get as much silica as you can. I'm going to get about a thumb's width and um, just start rolling your pipette like this to make sure your silica falls out. Just keep rolling it. Once you load silica in, you want to take your chem wipe and just hold your pipette like this and start tapping on it so that all the silica would fall down. As you can see, my silica starts falling down very quickly as soon as I start tapping on my pipette. Just keep tapping on it gently so that silica would fall down. There. Yeah. Make sure that um, your silica is level. Once it's level, then you can start loading sand into it. Sand is put in here to keep the silica from moving. So you want to put about um, three milliliters of sand in here. I'm just gonna try to put it in here like this. And don't worry if you accidentally put too much sand in here because um, it will not harm your procedure, your lab experiment at all. As you can see, there's my silica and that's my sand level. And once you've loaded it up, you're ready to take it to your ring stand in your pepper and carry on with your experiment.